Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your motherboard BIOS. In my PC, I have ASRock V50 Steel Legends motherboard with Ryzen 5 35 in it. And it's just 6 core 6 threads. And the processor that I'm going to use here is Ryzen 7 5700X, which comes with 8 core 16 threads. So to use this processor, I need to have the latest BIOS. So let's go to the monitor and check the BIOS version that I'm using right now. So to check the BIOS version, let's go to search type run and in that now let's type msin432 and click enter. So currently I'm using version 3.5 and now let's open chrome and search for ASRock B450 Steel Legends BIOS update. And now let's download the latest version and copy the extract file in 8 or 16 GB FAT32 pen drive. You have to make sure your pen drive is in FAT32 and below 16 GB completely formatted. I've already copied the file in my pen drive. Let's reboot the system and get into the BIOS. When the system restarts, start clicking delete key on your keyboard to enter into the BIOS. Now let's go to tool section. Under the tool section, you will find instant flash. It is asking to switch off TPM. So let's switch it off. Now let's save changes and reboot into the BIOS. Our system is rebooted. Let's go to tool section and click on instant flash. Click on the latest BIOS version that you have copied in your pen drive. Now leave the PC, do not press any key. Make sure you have backed up all your important files before updating the BIOS. And also make sure you have power backup. If power goes in between your BIOS update, then you might break your motherboard. So now the update is finished. Keep pressing delete key to get into BIOS and change the settings that you want to change. Here I am just overclocking the RAM. To overclock the RAM, go to AI Tweaker. Under the DRAM frequency, check for XMP or Expo. In some cases, it might be DOCP. Now that I have AMD motherboard, it should be AMD Expo, but it's absolutely fine to choose what the motherboard manufacturer has given. Now let's go to save and exit. Wait for your PC to boot to Windows login. Once you log in, search run. Type MS Info 32 again. Check your BIOS. And now you can unplug your pen drive. So I hope this video was helpful. Hit that like button. I'll meet you guys in the next one.